welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be answering your AFL Would You Rathers. So, obviously, I did get community posts. So, some of you have sent them in there and some have sent them through on the Discord. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I'll be answering every single, uh, oh, well, pretty much every single one that's been entered, except for Shannon's stupid ones, because he entered a couple dumb ones. But, um... Yeah, let's get straight into it. So, first one is from Nugget, and he has said, "Pick, would you pick Darcy Parish to play for the Pies? Or So, would you rather Darcy Parish to play for the Pies or Sam Walsh? Um, it's a bit of a tricky one. We don't really need more midfielders. We'd have to play Darcy Parish up forward, I think. So, uh, I'd have to go... I have to go with Sam Walsh, I think. I think he can sort of change a game. He can be a very good player. He's in Darcy Parrish, he hasn't had a good year. Um, yeah, I'd, go, I'd probably go with Sam Walsh. He's a bit more consistent uh, than Darcy Parrish. He only really had a good year last year. This year, he hasn't been so great. Then Shannon has written in saying, Would you rather Patrick Dangerfield or Jeremy Cameron? Um, it's a bit of a tricky one because Dangerfield is a Brownlow medalist. Cameron's a Coleman medalist, but uh, I think you'd have to go with Dangerfield. Obviously, if we're talking all time, Dangerfield has been, he's, was an outstanding player, and he's still not too bad. Then Sportsnut has wrote, would you rather Nick Dacos or Jack Inneman? And I cannot answer that. I love them both so much. Um, yeah, I'm not able to answer that question for you, Sportsnut. And then Sportsnut has also written, would you rather the Gabba or Metricon? Um, and actually, I'm going with a bit of a different one. I'm going Metricon because um, I actually really like Metricon. I just, I don't know why. I just like how the stadium looks. Um, maybe it's because it's filled with orange Gold Coast fans and you don't normally see it and it looks unique. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Met Metricon on this one. Then Shannon has written in for about the eighth time and said, would you rather Mark Spontempalli or Ollie Wines? And... Um, Obviously, I'm going to take Ollie Wines since he is a Brownlow medalist. Um, Bont and Pally, he's a bit of a tricky one. Bont people could say could say he was robbed, but I don't. I think Ollie Wines deserved it, and I feel like Ollie Wines has had a more consistent career than Bont and Pally has. So I'm going to go with Ollie Wines on that one. Then Paddy has written in saying Jeremy Cameron or Tom Hawkins, and I hate the big jellyfish Tom Hawkins. So. I'll definitely be going with Jeremy Cameron here. A very, very good player. Um, yeah, he kicks a lot of goals. Also assists a lot of goals. Um, definitely one of the best forwards in the competition at the moment and through the past couple of years. Then Shannon has wrote a ridiculous one. I don't know. Did, did he actually expect me to even think that I was going to say Harry Mackay? He said, would you rather Josh Dacos or Harry Mackay? Obviously, um, I'm going to choose Josh Dacos. I'm not choosing a Carlton player over um, a Collingwood midfielder, like one of the, um, like a Dacos. I'm not choosing Harry Mackay over a Dacos, Shannon. Then uh, Paddy's written in saying, would you rather Nick or Josh Dacos? Um, I'm not, ever again, like I love them both so much, I can't choose. All right, uh, Shannon again has written in, would you, would you rather Shannon Hearn or Charlie Cameron? Shannon, come on. Obviously I'm choosing Charlie Cameron. I'm not gonna choose Shannon Hearn, I don't like Shannon Hearn. And he's just a bit of a, yeah, I just don't like him. And Charlie Cameron's better. Uh, and then Paddy's also written in once again and said, would you rather lose by one point in the grand final or finish bottom four? And I know how painful it is to lose a grand final. It is, especially by like such a small margin. It was the worst feeling I've ever had, I've ever felt in my life. So, to be honest, I've got to go bottom four. Last year, uh, the grand, 2018 grand final hurt more than last year did, to be honest, because we still got a couple of good wins last year and we finished bottom four. So, definitely finish bottom four. Would you rather, Patty again, would you rather win by point in a grand final or win by 100? And I'm going by point. A one point win in a grand final, that would just be the best feeling. The best feeling. Especially if it was like a goal after Soren or a late clutch goal. Gee, it'd be good. But winning a 100 by a grand final. Oh, sorry. Winning by 100 in a grand final. You'd sort of know at halftime that you've won. And it'd just last forever. And it just wouldn't feel as exciting at the final Soren, I don't feel. And I'd just... Def I'd just Love to win by point in a grand final. And then Paddy has also written in this his last one saying, would you rather day or night grand final? And you have to go with day, don't you? 
um, this year's grand final was something else. The atmosphere just felt just felt different compared to when it was at the Gabba and Optus. It just felt like it was back at home. It was good grand final day. I just felt like it was grand final day. Although in 2021 and 2020, it just didn't feel like grand final day. But um, this year it did. And now that it was at the MCG, and it, and I just yeah, I prefer it at daytime. On to the YouTube community posts. The first one we have is from Dragon Sports saying. Would you rather Aaron Norton or Harry Mackay? And I've got to go with uh, I've got to go with Harry Mackay. I think Coleman medalist. Aaron Norton. He had a bit of a disappointing year this year, and Harry Mackay's had a more consistent career, I think, and is probably def the better player. Although I know Dragon Sports would have liked me to say Aaron Norton. And then he's also written in, Would you rather see a Geelong win a uh, three P? Or Gold Coast having a 5P, and I'm definitely going with Gold Coast having a 5P. I hate Geelong with a passion, and um, I would hate to see them win a 3P. I would just hate it. Ben Jambonjo has written, Would you rather have a 50-50 chance of winning three flags in a row or take a guaranteed flag next year? And this is a really good one. I really like this question, and I'm going to take the guaranteed flag uh, next year. I mean, like, what if you lose all them three and get unlucky? But uh, yeah, I'd, ta I'd definitely be taking the guaranteed flag next year. And to, to be honest, if, you if we did win three flags in a row, if we did win that three flags, I wouldn't want to, to be honest. It'd just sort of take away the joy of winning a premiership, like especially when the third one, it'd just sort of take it away because you've been here before. And then we've got a very good one sent in by Graz. He said, would you rather be an Eagles fan or jump off a bridge? And I think this one is quite obvious. I would rather jump off a bridge. Uh, then Sportsnut has written in saying, uh, this time on YouTube, he did uh, have a, I can't speak, he did have a couple on Discord as well. He said, would you rather have Jeremy Cameron on your side for three years or Jai Newcomb for ten years? And um, I've got to go with Jai Newcomb, to be honest. For ten years, he's only going to get better and better. He's a young kid, so if he came and signed with the Pies for ten years, I'd be very, very excited because he, he has a bright future. In 10 years, with a big bull, Jai Newcomb, he could turn into the next Jack Viney. Then Shannon has written in, <laughs> this time, this is a stupid question, this time on uh, the YouTube and said, would you rather Patrick Dangerfield or Jeremy McGovern? And I'm going to go with Patrick Dangerfield because I hate Jeremy McGovern and Dangerfield's overall is a better player. And then like, another one from Graz, he's written in, would you rather Brayshaw or Walsh? Um, it's a good question, actually. It's actually... um. I feel like the obvious answer is Brayshaw since he had such a good year uh, compared to Walsh this year. But I'm going to go with Walsh. I'm kidding. I'm going to go with Brayshaw. Although Walsh is still a very good player. Um, but I feel like Brayshaw is just a tiny bit better. So I'm going to go with Brayshaw there. So that was it for the video, guys. I really appreciate everyone who did send in a Would You Rather. I wouldn't have been able to make this video without you guys. So yeah, cheers. Uh, anyways, guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.